midpoint P of the line segment joining the points A and B. You see here, A and B. So here A is minus ten comma four, and B is minus two comma zero. So here P is the midpoint. So first I'll find P. Midpoint formula is x one plus x two by two. y1 plus y2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 so here x1 y1 x2 y2 so the x1 value is here minus 10 plus x2 is minus 2 by 2 4 plus 0 by 2 so here minus 10 minus 2 by 2 4 by 2 minus 12 by 2 comma 2 so minus 12 by 2 is minus 6 comma 2 so the point is minus 6 comma 2 now this point lies in the line segment joining the point c and d so so you can take c and d somewhere here like this you can take something like c and d C value is minus nine, minus four, minus nine, minus four, and D is minus four, comma y. So find the ratio in which P divides C D. Find the ratio in which P divides C D. So here P is dividing C and D. So it will better if we we'll draw the diagram C D clearly. C D. C is minus nine, minus four. D is minus four comma y, and P divides. We need to find P divides C and D in the ratio. C will take m one, m two, or you can take k is two one. So here, I'll solve by taking m one, m two. So P equals. Formula is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2. Now here the value of p is minus six comma two equals m1. I need to find ratio m1. You can take k is to one here. You can take k. Here one directly will get the value of k that will be the ratio. I'll take m1 m2 m1. Now here see it will better if we write this is x1 y1 x2 y2. So m1 x2 that is minus 4 m2 x1 which is minus 9 by m1 plus m2 m1 y2 y2 is y. Plus m2 y1 is minus 4 by m1 plus m2. Now here see, if I equate ordinate with ordinate, I will not get the answer because in this again we have the variable y here. Here we have the variable y, so we may not get the answer. We will not get the answer. So what do you do is just equate abscissa with abscissa. Equate abscissa with abscissa. So x value with x one. So here x minus six equals minus four m one. This part is minus four m one minus nine m two by m one plus m two. M one plus m two. So if we we'll cross multiply, minus six into m one plus m two. Minus four m one, minus nine m two, minus six m one, minus six m two, minus four m one, minus nine m two. So minus six m one plus four m one, minus nine m two, plus six m two. So here minus two m one minus nine plus six is minus three 
m2 minus minus cancel we need to find m1 by m2 m1 by m2 is 3 by 2 so m1 is to m2 is 3 is to 2 now also find the value of y so we need to find the value of y so see here now i'll equate ordinate with ordinate so here if we equate ordinate that is 2 equals 2 equals m1 m1 is 3 here i'm substituting the values in this one m1 is 3 and y m2 is 2 minus 4 by m1 plus m2 which is 3 plus 2 so if we'll solve further here 2 equals 3y minus 8 by 5 so if you cross multiply 2 times 5 10 10 equals 3y minus 8 so 10 plus 8 equals 3y 3y equals 18 y equals 18 by 3 which is nothing but 6 therefore the value of y is 6 the value of y is 6 in this way we need to find